Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video, we're going to be handing out knuckle sandwiches upon request. You guys asked for it and I'm going to deliver. Um, you know, so again, I've been quite busy recently, so finding time to get really good gameplay uh, can be a little bit of a challenge with just my, you know, time limitations. But I got some pretty uh, good stuff here for you. Nothing too crazy, but... Um, it is Doug the Thug nonetheless. You know how I like get down. I like to hand out wedgies, you know, a couple swirlies. Um, what are the, what are the things? Do noogies, full Nelsons, and um, frottage. <laughs> you know, scratch that last one. I don't know if Doug gets down like that, but um, you never know. You know, I don't know the guy personally. So um, again, with that sweet ass banana bushel hair, is it a bunch of bananas? I believe it's a bunch, right? Um, anyways. Um, kind of like uh, Lucci, Doug kind of gets a little bit of a speed buff when you just use one, two. So, uh, if you do have this unit, which you know a lot of people don't, look at this fucking dude just standing here with his fucking underpants on and no, no pants having, weird ass flat top having. Uh, there he goes running the most muscular butterflies I once uh, called him. Uh, we don't. Oh, we. Yeah, we don't have a defender, so I figured I was gonna like stay back and charge, but um, I was smelling some fucking dirty fucking rat bastards up here so uh we're gonna go try to lay our fucking fists uh into their foreheads and uh you know make some indentations so uh Kinemon just did the old fucking instant transmission right there uh deck the thug skill too if you didn't know uh, if you're like a newer player and you don't really see this guy um is a charge ability if you hit it it tremors uh that is if they survive usually they don't and uh, if you fully charge it, you actually heal, similar to like, I don't know, Mace's shield. It's got like that type of, or that level of healing. Now these two fucking Odins just kind of swapped spit right there and just swapped flags as well. I'm going to just hit him with the old knuckle sandwich and uh, try to get a little perfect dodge. But uh, I just timed it poorly, but no need to fucking uh, care that much because uh, I'm just going to be laying him out, out cold the old way, getting my white gloves covered in blood. So I don't know why they gave... This, you know, I mean, it's kind of a cool design, but it's very reminiscent of uh, some bad people. His clothing uh, from WW2, but we won't get into that. I, th I thought this Katakuri was going to try to like come roll down into me, but uh, he didn't. So I figured I'll just kind of punch him in the ass crack and uh, see if it KO'd him. But no. Nope. Um, good thing about Jesus Christ, did you just send me fucking packing across the goddamn canal or whatever you would call that? But um, yeah, um, his his skill one is really nice. So once you uh, hit people and you knock them down, you get uh, an LFI stagger, I believe, um, which is kind of works against, you know, it, it works in a negative way sometimes, especially when you're up against characters like Zoro. I just kind of timed that punch perfectly and just punched this guy right in his swollen BBC tip. So um, we do see Kinemon over here. I'm not really interested in getting him. Uh, but we just took him out anyway, so we're going to go help Big Mom capture this flag, considering that they're uh, over there trying to put in, uh, or capture the middle. So, figured I'm going to punch this lady in her face for staring at me the wrong way. And uh, this big fucking blanket-having, blue hair-wearing, big-ass-having fucking clown man is going to try to punch me. He actually connected with those two, uh, like, what are you, blade punches, whatever, I don't know what they're called, the buggy fucking buggy blades, so... Uh, we're getting, I'm getting rocked right here, getting comboed left and right. Ended up punching this woman and this clown at the same time. Uh, but as I was saying before, Doug the Thug, man, he was really he was built very well as a character. Um, he has quite a you know decent amount of damage reduction just naturally. So um, this match, I believe, we had one of our homies on the opposite team. I believe, yeah, it's V-Roy. So that's Husky right there. Shoutouts to Husky holding it down with Perona. Really good character. Um, but other than that, I mean... He does get an awesome, uh, I think it's like a 20% or 30% attack buff when you knock people down as well. So, or what, maybe it's when you use skill too. Uh, I kind of forget, but it doesn't matter. That's besides the point. We're going to try to time this Oden, let him rush over, but somehow he hit us just with just the tip. Um, and I guess that's how Doug gets down. Um, this Oden just kind of vanished again. Uh, it's been quite laggy recently for some reason. Um, we're just going to get fucking hit by every single attack at once. But you can see how tanky I could be but when I'm uh, alone there. So I just, uh, you know, 
did just take a whole bunch of damage from those uh, characters. Well, it, it should have been a whole bunch of damage, but luckily we're a little bit uh, defensive there. So it's a nice piece of meat. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, put that in my mouth. Not me, Doug. You know, uh, I don't get, I don't, I don't swing that way. But uh, we are going to beat up this widowed woman here with uh, the ghost of her, I guess, dead uh, <laughs> former like. Uh, husbands or boyfriends or whatever um and we do get hit right there so a little bit unfortunate we're gonna be negative for like a good 10 seconds um sanji down here looking like fresh meat to me gonna go fucking lay into him in his wedding suit beat imagine getting whooped at your own wedding that's like the most embarrassing shit ever of course Belchbeard's gonna catch it too because i don't like the way he's looking at me oh and there's that meat that i was fucking talking about so um Again, skill two, you can act, it basically acts as meat. So if you just ever have it and you have no enemy to use it against, because it is a little bit of a difficult attack to land sometimes, it might be nice for you to just charge that bitch up and then uh, use it as a health potion. So knock this Mihawk out. We're knocking all the dudes in white suits out here. Like fucking P. Diddy and the gang. We're just beating the shit out of them like Tupac and the fucking, uh, what, <laughs> what was it? The uh, outlaws. So I'm going to charge that skill two. And actually connect on that Lucci. I was hoping we'd hit Perona as well so I could show you some of that tremor action. But unfortunately, we just like rattled her bones with a big fucking right, right uh, straight there. So uh, we're built like goddamn, uh, uh, what's his name? Fucking Dolph Lundgren from uh, Rocky IV. <laughs> uh, fucking Drago. Um, but anyways, there's not much uh, time left in this match. We're still just going to be handing out knuckle sandwiches. Um, one more thing I wanted to say about Doug the Thug. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. We ended up getting clapped right there. But uh, one more thing about, I wanted to say about him. Um, he does have the uh, Devil Fruit like user tag, which is a little bit unfortunate because he doesn't really have any of his like, Devil Fruit abilities. So um, if you are up against like Blackbeards and stuff, he can get hurt. But, um, you know, Blackbeard isn't as common as he once was. So not really like that important to note, but it is a thing. Um, but yeah, not really, uh, again, not really much more to say. He's just an overall fantastic unit. It's a damn shame he's limited. But at the same time, I'm kind of grateful that I got one of these rare characters. Um, you know, and I still like to play him to this day. He is boost to level 100. And um, I got the children's medal set on him. Uh, so I believe it's Sabo ace and kid luffy like all three of the kids uh versions of themselves but yeah here's my uh, team support you'll see it in a second it's actually pretty good it's a kind of a slept on metal set i know it doesn't like do the most crazy stuff but it does pretty damn good you get 10 percent when allies are not near that's re damage reduction and if your allies are near you get an increased 10 percent damage output so and of course skill one cooldown which is uh, that big punch um, 8% HP with Luffy, a little bit of uh, chance to recover your HP there, and of course, critical hit chance with perfect dodging, which is really nice with a guy like this. So, um, That being said, uh, not really much more to say. You can see here, this has got quite a short cooldown. Um, skill 2, however, is a little bit longer, but it is such a fantastic skill if you could time it properly. It's really good, especially when you catch people like pulling on the flags. Um, but yeah, um... Uh, not really much more to say, like I said, so hope you guys liked the video. We handed out as many wedgies as we could uh, in our, due to our limited time, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, you guys also know what to do. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next One Piece Bounty Rush video. We'll see you then. Peace.